Hey all, so good morning and welcome to another session of Tech Tablet Daily Dose with Varun Rao. So in this session, let us just understand what OData is all about. And it's quite different that I've been recording on a morning today. So we are good morning and welcome to a new understanding on what OData is. Uh, OData, now this video is especially for those who are into SAP UI5 Fury and want to understand what OData is. SAP OData is all about okay and the aim of this session would be to understand what do you need to learn in order to be an OData developer what are the general business expectations that you would be having as or you know from another OData developer or from an organization and why should we slowly move into OData what is the necessity for us to do so let us understand all these in this video and yeah so let us begin so firstly to understand what OData is all about we have to know that OData is basically open data, it's abbreviated as open data, which is a protocol. Now, when I say a protocol, it is a set of rules or guidelines that are to be followed whenever you create a project. Okay, and it allows creation and consumption of queryable and interoperable RESTful APIs. Alright, so you can basically make queries and they are interoperable as well. Okay, and REST is the way in which you know you make all these apis you have the restful apis okay which is made in a simple and a standard way now this was initiated or this came into picture thanks to microsoft uh, in way back in 2007 and once microsoft came up with this uh, this being an open source software or this being an open source it can be used by many other platforms so hence OData is consumed not only by SAP UI5 Fury professionals but also people from other domain all right and it is basically owned by all of those who want to use it so there is no owner or there's no license key involved in using OData as such now what is an OData model so OData model is basically a server-sided model which means that the data set is only available on the server. You can extract data or you can bind data only from the server and the client only knows the visible screen. That is the end user can only see what is being shown to him. He can make certain changes with his or he can make some entry with his ID and yeah, whatever it is, he can only make changes or he can only add information or remove information which is respect to him. And every or any query made by him always goes and communicates with the server and you have an information back. And you have operations such as sorting and filtering which are all taken care of by the server. That is the backend operation. So this is what it is if you want to understand what an OData model is. Alright. Now, if you get into understanding what an OData is, you have to know what is the gateway architecture and what are the various deployment options like OData can be deployed with many other SAP modules. So you've got to understand what that is and also take a look at what is the architecture behind, uh, you know, the SAP gateway. All right. Then you have the OData overview, which is understanding OData and the rest operations. Okay. Now, you also have to understand other OData operations like all the CRUD models and how to make queries because it is very important that you learn all these operations when you call, if you want to call yourself as an OData developer. All right. And then you also have a service gateway implementation. Okay. <clears throat> now, when you talk of service gateway implementation here, you define everything basically you define a data model you define read operations you define navigation you define query you implement your change so everything is basically taken care of when we talk of a service implementation this basically covers the end-to-end -end part of it now in the over in the topic above which is your raw data overview when we were talking of raw data and rest uh, i just wanted to inform you that when you talk of rest you might not understand this uh, if you are a fresher or if you are a first timer to our data. So let me just talk about it for a minute. REST basically is abbreviated as Representational State Transfer. It's the acronym for REST. Okay. And it basically uh, means that every U URL which is unique, it is representation of some object, right? So if you are throwing up a URL, it is representing the page that you have created, you know, the, the program that you have created. So that is what REST means. It is, again, I just repeat, it, it the acronym for REST stands as Representational State 
transfer all right and then you have to understand the read operation navigation query change that is uh, in short it is the crud operation c r u d which is create read update and delete and then you also it, it's also called as crud q where in q stands for query operations right then you have the gateway service generation which is the rfc bor generator you have the search help generator which should be learned and then you have uh, you know how to redefine a data service and how to redefine a gateway service now the, they they are different i mean minutely different from each other but yet yet they have their own you know significance and then you have sap gateway security which talks about authentication and data security so this is all a part of our data now everything that is still here is good if if you want to call yourself an or data developer as such but then if you want to call yourself an expert or if you just want to see what else gate uh, or data gateway can do then you also have some or data advanced options like you can implement function imports you can implement expand operations deep insert operations handling e tags batch requests media links offline support okay now and there are many things like these and that too with version 4 coming up which has which is being supported by oasis okay you have a lot of things that have you know been added into it but then uh, it is still version 2 and version 3 that is being used in most of the organizations i think it's version 3 also has come up but version 4 is not yet uh, into complete picture in many of the organizations but if you want to call yourself as i said as an auditor developer then you should be covering uh, at least 70% of all that's been told here in the video just now now when we talk of some other operations like what's an e tag handling an e tag right so e tag basically provides uh, you know data concurrency like you know it gives you uh, optimistic concurrency management for write transactions like update and delete all right and then now when we talk of basic you know optimistic concurrency control it is a technique where you can uh, you know transact multiple transactions and they would all you know complete without locking any object for a lot of time and to put it more easier uh, e tag is basically you know optimistic concurrency control for you know uh, you know with you know which locks your database object for very small duration it, it it's hardly in seconds and you know and it this this time for which it would take to lock is the actual time to execute any database you know to any database write transaction as such okay and then you also have batch requests these are also pretty much used okay now when you talk of batch requests <coughs> the o data protocol defines a way to query and manipulate data all right and this is done using a simple set of operations and these operations are called as you know batch request and whenever you send a batch request basically you are executing multiple operations uh, in a single http request in in a process called as batching okay there are many help pages for sap uh, provided by sap with respect to uh, batch request you also have pages in odata with respect to batch request so yeah uh, you can actually go ahead and read them all all right and now when you talk of why should we slide from odata or from abap or from native technologies into odata then you know there are many things coming up now if you want to build an application uh, and nowadays with everything going online and everything going application and everything going internet uh, on the internet it's very important for us to be in match with the technology and if you want to create an application like an sd or an mm application which unlike earlier we could not do it but now if you want you could do it that is if you just know or data and if you are able to create a fiori application then you can create an sd application as well so understanding all these concepts and understanding things like these it's better if we slowly but steadily move towards what is coming up and which does not mean that you leave what you have in your hand but yeah it's always good that you upgrade or you advance from one platform to another okay now when you talk of uh, the version 4 which has come up uh, off late and as i said you know the, the there is this or data which is being consumed by oasis you have many things which are you know new in or data version 4 there are many things which are new 
okay and this was first published in 2013 and it has been implemented in numerous products and you know tools and it has some new features features like extended query language uh, the syntax is pretty simple you have some simplified payloads and uh, the easier uh, you, you have easier partial adoption of uh, you know different uh, o data you know which are currently the existing in the rest Pro APIs okay so all these are some advantages that you have and notwithstanding all these uh, odata 4 is highly compatible it is you know an incremental release over the uh, you know the older payloads and in this generally uh, it is said that uh, or you know the header to ensure odata 4.0 clients they do not receive any unexpected constructs in you know response payloads okay and there are many things now most of the things which i'm talking of i have just learned about it in odata page help page and i've seen what is it and you know that is how i made this video if you want more there is loads and loads of information on the internet i would ask i, I would post the links in the description below you should probably check them out and understand more about this right so i hope you have had a happy learning this session and i hope you have also enjoyed watching the session stay subscribed to this channel tech tablet for a lot of videos yet to be exchanged and a lot of knowledge yet to be shared between us thank you all the best and do keep watching have a great day ahead